I'm curious what your setup was for staying in shape and staying sharp during the shutdown. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was in back home in Louisville, Kentucky. So, I mean, I got lucky. I have a home gym um, that I just put in this off season. So I was able to, to do that to start. Um, and then as places kind of started opening back up in Kentucky, we were able to go like um, in groups to a, to a facility to work out. Um, so I was able to do that and then just kind of find a place to throw where I can. I mean, mainly like at a park or um, into a net by myself, something like that. So um, I got pretty lucky just being, being able to have a home gym though. So. And so did you follow the routine that you use like in the off season or like how did you come up with the program that you wanted to use? Yeah, I mainly went back to um, an off season program um, just because we didn't know how long it was going to be. And knowing that we were going to have a second spring training, um, didn't really need to go to in season anything just yet. So I'm um, still able to do off season stuff at that at uh, that point in time. So, John Schwartz from Yankees Magazine, go ahead and unmute. You have the next question. Hey, Chad, how are you? Um, kind of following up on what Lindsay just said, for a reliever in your position, when you show up here with, you know, three and a half weeks instead of the six weeks of usual spring training, you know, how much do you actually need to get yourself ready for July 23rd to, to be able to go out there? Um, not much. I mean, I, I came in pretty ready to go. I was able to stay, uh, be able to throw a lot, um, get off the mound a couple times a week leading up to this point. So um, not much. It's just going to be getting into this environment. Um, facing some big league hitters, um, getting off the mound here, just getting back in, into the routine of things um, is the biggest thing, but it's not going to take much to be back to a game-ready um, situation. Who else has a question for Chad? George King, New York Post. Go ahead and unmute. Chad, when are you um, scheduled to throw in these uh, inter squad games? Uh, I'm scheduled to throw again tomorrow. So, tomorrow night. And after that, I'm not sure. So, you good, George? Yeah, thank you. James Wagner, you can go ahead and unmute, please. Hey, Chad, what's up? Hope you and the family are well. Just, just kind of curious what you think of this whole setup, like the way this all has gone about. Um, the way everything's staggered, the way you can see your teammates, yeah. just like all the new things you have to do and in order just to, to get this season off. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been an adjustment, but I think um, the staff and it here has done a really good job of getting guys out there in waves and making sure um, we're getting our work in, but we're not hanging around and just hanging out. Um, so I think they've done a good job of moving guys in and out of the weight room, um, off the mound. Um, so I think it's been – it's been run pretty smoothly I mean up to this point so um, and I like having our second spring training here in New York it's nice to um, get off the mound um, in, in this environment an environment that we're going to play at uh, maybe for the foreseeable future so um, yeah it's definitely good to be here Lindsay Adler Lindsay if you can unmute okay one more um you know, over the last few weeks, there's definitely been a lot of conversation about racial inequality and things of that nature. And I know that that's been especially a big conversation in Louisville. I'm curious if there's have been any conversations with your teammates or with your friends that, you know, you think have, you know, kind of been enlightening and kind of what you have been thinking about um, during all of this. Yeah, um, that's a good question. Uh we haven't sat down since like the lounge areas have been kind of taken out of here. We I haven't had the opportunity to just um, mainly sit and talk about things. And that's normally when we have our um, topic, our non-baseball conversations or in environments like that. I mean, because when we're just getting done throwing, we're still talking about baseball and talking about how we're feeling and stuff like that. So I think that's a conversation that's going to happen uh, very soon and uh, yeah I'm uh, looking forward to talking to those guys about it get everybody's opinion and see what they think about it as well